We got here about 7.15 and I think we're about the 10th or 12th in line. Out of about 3,000. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Too many. We need to get to the front of the line. Yeah, I'm about to use some elbows. Get to the junk. <laughs> My daughter Kathy is from Houston. I'm from Anchorage, Alaska, and I'm from Boise, Idaho. Boise, Idaho. We're from Cottage Grove, Oregon. <laughs> she came all the way from Perth, Australia, just to be here. Yeah. We're from BC. We're from Spokane. No, I'm from Seattle. I oh, came, she I came really from came miles. The West Coast. Uh, 900 miles. 900 miles. And this is our first chick bear. It's nice to meet you. Happiness. It's fabulous to make you. Everybody has shopping carts. So. We don't have shopping carts. No. Oh, well, if you're going to buy, you have to have a cart. We came here to, to find junk. A bed. All kinds of treasures. My goal is to fill it. Did you save my place in line? <laughs> we came here for a mother-daughter weekend. That's what we told our husbands. And we didn't ask permission. <laughs> this is my honeydew. I'm, I'm making points today by bringing, coming with my wife. We've been reading about it forever. First, no, first year. <laughs> We are excited. We are very excited. See ya. My name is Serena Thompson and I started the Farm Chick Show in 2002 with a friend of mine and I really just grew up in the junking world because I was a child of the 70s. My parents were hippies and we lived in a gypsy wagon. We traveled all over the country and found things in landfills and at the time it wasn't really a popular thing to do. It was just kind of like what we did to um, furnish our home. Uh, we bought a bed spring at Farm Chicks from some really nice ladies. Who knew that you would need a bed spring? We love anything vintage um, and anything that tells a story. Everyone's so, so wonderful and friendly and there's just this great environment of um, of everyone interacting and everyone having the same shared passions and learning something new and meeting new people. It's, it's really what country living is all about. It's what we stand for and it's what the farm chicks stand for too. It's just a white picket fence and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use it for but I will find a place to put it. So, um, My girlfriend got these chairs and I got a birdcage that's falling apart but I'm putting it back together again. <laughs> The reason we came from California is because we love the show. It's just a fantastic group of vendors and dealers. Um, the cream of the crop in the industry, I think the displays are fantastic and you get a lot of inspiration and ideas here and I take that with me um, in my day job as a magazine editor. I came all the way from Northfield, Minnesota. And I came all the way from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Just for this, this is the third year in a row, just for this. This is the most fabulous flower cart in the world. Garden parties, champagne, cocktail, you name it. Ice cream sundaes, candy shop, flowers. Who wants to come to my flower shop? Now we have to go cram it in the car. There are lots of shows like this. I mean, occasional sales and junk shows like this. But because Serena has such a way of networking and communicating and, I mean, this is her, isn't it? It's, um, you, you have to have stood in these aisles and tried to sell these wares to be able to put on a show that people enjoy so much. This whole business of the Farm Chicks was kind of born from what I could do in my spare time and yet raise my family. And it's just, it's a dream come true. Well, this is our third trip to the car. I found a vintage globe that I've been looking for for years and years and a very cool lantern for my new house. This is a map of uh, Caesar's conquest of Gaul. I'm coming back. I'm not done. <laughs> um, the people. Just getting together. Everyone loves junk. Serena loves junk. We just do an awe over everything, make friends. I love the atmosphere. It's just a great place to be. And it spawned my love of junking. The first farm chicks I attended and shopped, I became a junker. So that's why I love farm chicks. This is from the Country Living magazine, and it said it was a prairie party. Um, and we took it out of the magazine because we think it's adorable. I've had this for probably, I don't know how long, it's been a long time I've kept this magazine and so it's been a really great dream of ours to be here. What's so great about the farm chicks? Um, just the people you meet here that work and we have the same neighbors every year, that's really great and um, 
a little kid that come back to the booth, they remember us. Picked up a bird cage today. It's fabulous, one of a kind. That's how they used to make balloons. They dip them in talcum powder and then turn them upside down, put them in vortex rubber, and then peel them off. And that's how they make balloons. My sister lives here in Spokane. I came to the show and was so amazed at what the vendors were selling, their creativity, that it actually inspired me to start making jewelry. And Adrian makes all this jewelry out of old brooches and vintage charms, typewriter keys. It's a great place to be creative and see creativity in others. I have a tricycle, 1940s tricycle. There's an energy. There's a happy party vibe. Everybody helps each other. Um, we kind of spur each other to higher elevation of presentation and products and what we do is something that we love. So we just help each other do it better and Serena fosters that. She takes really good care of all of us and we love being here. We love it. We have no idea what they were originally. Oh. We don't know. Oh, she said planters. So it's a whole planters. Yeah. But we're using it for something else. I, I like the repurpose things, you know, I like turn it around. And... This was a three-story Victorian home. The corbels on there here are 100, 140 years old. They're all square nails, all hand done. It's beautiful. I mean, I come, I get goosebumps, I hear people's stories, I'm inspired by them. That inspiration just helps me in what I do. I, I love it. I couldn't have been happier. I, I love it. I love it. I'll be back. We'll already plan it next year. Yeah. <laughs> Farm chicks are Fruit Loops. <laughs> we sure have fun. We had a lot of fun. It's why we all get along so well. Oh, <laughs> I love you, Joe. The Farm Chick Show is something I look forward to all year. I gather all my best stuff. And it's a, for me, it's a gathering of my favorite people and my tribe, and it just makes me giddy happy to be here.